Now, I believe every woman needs to have a QEC option in her beauty arsenal. What's QEC stand for? A quick, easy, cute, put together look, baby. I am going to show y'all how I do a five minute face with just five products. That's right. First, we're gonna start with my AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion by CeraVe. Ladies, if you are using any kind of skincare products that have a brightening agent in it, you need a sunscreen every day. I know we think because we are women of color and we got melanin that you don't need sunscreen, but you do. Now, the lip bar has become my new favorite liquid matte lipstick to wear. So I decided that I wanted to try their It's Just a Tint 3-in-1 Moisturizer. In the summertime, it is too hot for a full face beat. And am I the only one who does not want to wear a nighttime glam on a Tuesday morning? I'm not interested. So finding a tinted moisturizer is a great way to even your complexion and give you a more polished look. Now the lip bar has a large range of shades in this tinted moisturizer and I love that for us. Application is super easy. We're gonna put it on our finger and rub it all over our face just like you would do any other moisturizer. The added bonus here is it has a tint to it that evens your complexion. Also, the Lip Bar's Tinted Moisturizer has a SPF of 11, so that's even more great protection for our skin. Ladies, remember, you only get one skin. And if you do the work in the front end, you won't have to do as much work in the back end, keeping your skin cared for and looking nice. Now, after you've rubbed all of your tinted moisturizer in, you need to tackle those brows. And I decided to use a new, well, it's a new product to me, a brow defining wax pencil from Sephora. I love that this pencil has an angled applicator tip which makes it very easy for you to apply hair-like strokes to your brow. I don't know about anybody else, but when I am trying to do a five minute face, I am not interested in using three, four different products on just my brow to each it on. But for me, I need quick, easy, and cute, right? Now on this left eyebrow, baby, I had the technique down pat. You stroke the pencil like you're trying to flick the wrist and it will create a hair-like pattern, which is perfect. That's perfect. Now I'm right-handed. So when I got over to that left eyebrow, boy, everything went awry. I don't know why is it that we struggle so much doing our opposite side. Am I the only one? Ladies, leave a comment. If you can do your right side, great. But when it comes to doing your left side, whether it's your brow, your nails, I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. I promise. Leave a comment if I'm not alone in that. Please let me know that I'm not the only one struggling on the left eyebrow, okay? So I noticed that this eyebrow is getting too dark, but I'm in it too deep now. I, I'm in the thick of it. I got to see it through, my boy. So I keep going thinking that I would be able to brush it through. A pro and a con about this product is it is a wax-based product. I knew I was messed up at this point, but this wax-based product glides on so smooth that you don't realize you're putting too much product on. And also, I did not click more product up. I should have done that 30 seconds ago. And the reason this five minute face is turning into more like a seven, eight minute face is because I messed this eyebrow up. But no worries, I'm gonna fix it in the end so just ignore that that eyebrow is so dark okay now this brow pencil is great because it has a spoolie on one end and it has your actual pencil on the other end so again it's eliminating a tool it's eliminating a brush it's eliminating an extra product or two and i love that now if i had not overused my product on this side trying to <laughs> push too much I would be done at this point. But I'm seeing the errors of my ways. So again, just ignore the eyebrows. I'm gonna fix it as I go, okay? Now here's something that I believe, regardless if you are a makeup girly or not, I believe that every mature woman should have a quick and easy 
five minute face. You never know when you may have an opportunity for a business meeting, an opportunity for a date, or if it's just a day that you're feeling blah, if you get up and spend a little bit of time with yourself, putting on a little bit of makeup just so you feel more polished and more put together, you will be surprised how that would increase your mood. Now, now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty's Pro Filter Loose Setting Powder. I love how finely milled this powder is. It's really soft. And this is a new product, so I'm opening it up for y'all. There's a little new product, ASMR. Now, this powder is so great on the skin. It glides right on. It's super light, which is what we need in the summertime. And I start my application. I love the smell. I start the application by just buffing it into my skin. Fenty came through with the nine different shades. So I'm sure you can find a shade that will perfectly match you when you just wanna wear your five minute face. Now again, I'm buffing it in, which helps that moisturizer to lay smoother on my face and to make sure that I have a finished polished look. And then I'm going to go in with a dab just to make sure that I have no swirling motions or no streaks, okay? This makes your skin look flawless for a five minute face. Now, I'm noticing that that eyebrow is uneven and I have to fix it because I can't go outside like this, okay? So just ignore that. So while I fix the eyebrow that I messed up terribly, I would encourage you ladies to realize that you do not need a glamorous 37 product face routine. Sometimes all you need is a moisturizer, a filled in brow, a little mascara and a lip. That's it. It does help you to look more polished. It helps you to look more put together. And if you are like me, I am 36, I'd be 37 in July. If I have on certain clothes or a certain outfit, I look like a kid, which is gonna be great when I'm 60, but I don't wanna look like a child at 36. I want to look like a full adult grown woman, baby. And I wanna be taken seriously. And sometimes you just have to help people know that you are not a woman to play with, baby, okay? So for me, just making sure that my hair, my makeup and everything is polished helps me to do that, in my opinion. Now, who else loves a good synthetic wig? Me, if you are a synthetic wig wearer, put a comment in the comment section because here's the thing. I like to change my look up. And I'm all for the two, three, four, five, six hundred dollar wigs if that's what you like. But for me, I need the options of being able to have a budget friendly, but cute, easy and quick option. And a synthetic wig is the go. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of got to be glued and spray it just on the part section of my wig. Am I trying to glue this entire lace front down? Absolutely not, you're not gonna see it. And I don't wanna have to pull on my hairline when I take it off. Now I should have put this wig on after my mascara cause the hair kept getting in my way. But then I take my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. This is my tried and true. I swear I've been using this mascara since high school. It's probably the same too. It's, it's time for some new one. Anywho, don't judge me. I apply mascara just to give my eye a little pop, just to make my lashes stand out just a little bit. Now, if you are a winged girly, a eyeliner, winged eyeliner girly, by all means, instead of mascara, you can use eyeliner, but my hand is not steady enough, so I stick to my mascara. Now, after I apply my mascara to the top and bottom lash, I then, of course, have to finish off the look with what? With my liquid matte lipstick by the Lip Bar. I love every shade. It is moisturizing on my lips while giving me the matte look. It's a win. If you don't have a quick, easy, cute QEC look in your arsenal, here you go. You're welcome. QEC, quick, easy, and cute.